It's your boy High Five Vega back again. This time we're doing a test bench upgrade video. So we're going to check out the uh, the new test bench. You know I've been using a little small Harbor Freight three tier cart for a while. It's time to upgrade, get something a little more solid, something a little better for my needs. So let's start with the uh, box itself. You can see what I got here and I'm sorry for the lawnmower noise. <laughs> got <he. laughs> Got he. <laughs> but I got to do this outside, so we're going to have what it is. Um, so I got a Husky cart. Picked this up at Home Depot for around $100, somewhere like that. And uh, let's kind of check the cart out itself. So it does have a sliding drawer, which will allow me to store a lot of the tools that I need. It's got locks on both. It's got storage underneath, which is where my power supply is right now. It's got a nice little push handle here. And then a built-in power strip with USB ports, which is nice. So I've got my power supply plugged into here. I may go directly into the wall for the power supply, but we'll see how it handles. We've got swivel wheels down here on one side. And then go around back, you kind of, we'll talk about all this later, but you can see it's a pegboard construction so that allows me a lot of versatility in what i'm doing this is a 26 inch bench i think well you know what we can pull out the handy dandy tools and we can see what it is right now okay we're right at 27 inches oh and i guess you know it come with this little liner mat which would sit inside of this. I don't know if you can tell, but this is boxed up here. And I went ahead and cut a uh, piece of half inch MDF, rounded it over, and that allowed me to sit flush with the liner. So I think that's gonna be a lot better uh, when I'm putting the amps up there. That way I don't have a lip to uh, contend with. My head unit is no longer built in. I've got it sitting, you know, just up here right like this temporarily. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with it, but for now this will work. And uh, I've changed the unit itself. I wanted to add an auxiliary for, you know, just sometimes I want to use a different source other than just a CD. So the old Pioneer is not going to be in this, this setup right here. We'll be using the Clarion. If you've ever wanted to prototype your own PCB boards, I got great news for you. Our friends over at PCBWay are offering 10 prototype boards for $5. And guess what? If you sign up today, you can get $5 off your first order. So that makes them first 10 boards free. Please check out our friends over at PCBWay.com. So I've got a couple of uh, common tools on the magnetic strip here that I need for this. Obviously, these Allen keys are the two most common sizes used in these blocks over here. We'll get to the blocks later. You're always going to need some needle nose pliers when you're working with amps, you know, taking them apart. These have uh, quickly become my favorite strippers. I really like these. Obviously, you need some kind of little uh, screwdriver to get into them gains and tight spots. Um, cable cutters, a pair of side cutters, and then just some little stubby uh, flathead and a Phillips. Then in the cubbies, in here as you can see there's like four little cubbies that I can just hold miscellaneous things it's a good spot to go ahead and uh, put the tools that I most commonly use when I'm testing amps and the other tools some of the accessories I've can slide straight down in this drawer you know this miscellaneous banana plugs RCA cables and a little bit of speaker wire some reducers I'll add more to this I'm sure um, you know, some just some heavier, heavier gauge cable cutters, tape measure, and a razor blade. Now, what are all these distribution blocks doing on here? So, this one right here is my main power run from my power supply. I can go ahead and have, uh, you know, one of them will obviously be for the head unit. And you can see that they are already run. I've kind of got the wires run through the pegboard here. And the other three are for amps. I've got different sizes. I've got a 60, an 80, and a 150 amp fuse and a couple spares it holds. Um, EXO did a little review on this block and 
I had purchased this, you know, a month or two before that, and I just didn't get around to it, so he scooped me on that, got the uh, review. Now, these blocks here in my old test bench, I don't know if you know, but I was using some, you know, push push pin type connectors that you'd commonly find on subwoofers. The problem with that is sometimes, you know, when I'm trying to run my leads, it's a little difficult. So I decided instead of push pins, I'll just use straight up ground distribution blocks and I <laughs> I didn't have four of the same and I'm trying not to just waste money on unnecessary things and use stuff that I have but I did have four ground distribution blocks so I got that there these are four ohm loads uh, the two bottom one are a thousand watt four ohm load resistor and then there's a 500 watt four ohm load resistor that I can use and those uh, resistors actually handle quite a bit more than they're rated for for a short amount of times this over here I ran out of ground distribution blocks so for the one ohm resistor I'm gonna go ahead and I use some fuse blocks so just got some glass fuses in there pretty much the same thing one power in two out so you know positive negative although that doesn't matter on those resistors you can go either way now the resistors themselves there, this is the one ohm resistor, 1000 watt. This is a 500 watt, four ohm, and a 1000 watt, uh, four ohm as well. And I've got these bolted directly to the pegboard. And if you've used these, you know that they can get extremely hot. And I'm hoping that this kind of helps dissipate the heat a little bit more. But if not, we'll add a fan spacers if, if I run into trouble. Every other piece is, I've used bolts on the pegboard to keep everything very secure. And then down here, I've got a few pegboard accessories hanging just to kind of hold some of the common wire that I use, you know, some one out, some four gauge, some eight gauge down here. But yeah, that's it. That's the test bench. I think I've shown you everything. I added a little magnet uh, cup here just so I can hold some screws and things like that that you know I don't want to lose. The one part that I have not showed you is the power supply and it's kind of sitting lonely down there. It's a little dusty. I had not cleaned it up yet and that mount, that's just temporary. <laughs> it's what I had in the card. I'm going to do something more elegant in the future, but I've got you know, one out run through. I've got it all run through the pass through, which I don't believe I showed earlier. So this does have a pass through already built in, which is very good. So I've got a relatively short run of one out up to here to get my power. And I think I've just about showed you guys everything on this test bench. If you have any questions that I didn't answer, leave them in the comments below. I appreciate each and every one of you who uh, takes the time to like, comment, and share. And if you've got pictures of your own test bench you want me to show off on my channel, you know, send them to hi5vega at gmail.com and maybe we'll do like a little montage of all your test benches. But uh, until next time, shout out to all my Patreon supporters, but a special shout out goes to $6 or more members, 2001 Monolithic, The Third Era, G Nava, Joaquin Juarez, Paul Smith, Rick Quattlebaum, CT Sounds, Byron Shambliss, The Car Audio Guy, Jason Zemer, Travis McClendon, and Brandon Hanna. For as little as $2 a month, you can join the team and get exclusive patron-only content not available on YouTube. If you want to help me with my goal of one new patron a week, please check me out at patreon.com slash high five vega. Do 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 Oh, uh, uh, you're still here? Oh man, uh, yeah, well, so, since you're here, the 6.5 box swapped the competition, the showdown, whatever you want to call it. I need a little bit more time because there's a few extra things I want to do for the next video and maybe address some of the concerns that you guys had, so... Just uh, be patient with me on that. I'm going to make it cool. And this time I won't forget to get the B-roll shot. So I'll get some nice shots for you guys. Some nice uh, flexing action. And uh, 
you know, we'll see how the Sundown does in the other box, and we'll see how the High Q does in that box, and maybe we'll throw in some SPL testing with a little more power. Maybe I can uh, get up on that meter pretty good in the Suburban, at least where it can read consistently. So, uh, yeah, you guys be ready for that. It'll be coming up in the next week or two, and I appreciate your patience. So, uh, yeah, thanks a lot, guys.